Let's begin. This is Kyle Johnson Mic'd Up. You can find my work on Twitter at kjohnstonmiked up. You can find my work on my website, kylejohnsonmiked.wordpress.com. I shall return from the fire. I shall return from the flames. That's exactly what United and the Red Devils are doing right now. They have just waltzed their way to the semifinals. Took care of Anderlecht. I didn't get to see the game, but... I'm sitting there uh, watching the uh, the post game right now. Celta Vigo joins them in the semifinals. They took care of Genk and uh, Ajax. Fucking boys from Holland, boys from the Dam. Ajax took care of Schalke. Thrilling match, four three on aggregate. And uh, Besiktas and uh, Leon are currently in penalties as we speak. It would be nice if we had some uh, bonus coverage here, but I don't see any bonus coverage on. Never mind, it's on right now. So actually, Besiktas is up 2-1 on Leon in penalties as we speak. I fucking love penalties. But uh, these are my plays of the day for April 20th. The NHL and NBA playoffs continue. The MLB had a few early games. Have their first pitch this afternoon. So Leon just leveled at two apiece. Pretty calm, pretty cool, pretty collective. I totally so. Sorry if this has kind of caught my attention here, but yeah. So we're we're not gonna talk uh, a little NHL and NBA playoffs. We'll break down. I think only like one game on the diamond, really. There's a couple other games that kind of catch my eye, but scared money never wins, right? Scared money never wins. So, uh, as these uh, penalty kicks continue, beautiful fucking penalty kick. Ain't nobody fucking stopping that. I don't have the volume on, so I, if I don't see the, uh, the kicker walk up, I'm not quite sure who it is. Well, that was a fucking hell of a fucking penalty kick, man. Top corner. Fucking with power. You know one of these guys are going to fucking mess up here. And it's going to be utter heartbreaking. But Sheikdas and Leon are, are United's biggest fucking competition. And one of them's going out right now. Like, Celta doesn't scare me. Ajax don't scare me. Ajax got some talent. But they're not like the Ajax teams of old. Even a few years ago. Three all on penalties. I really should go hop in on this, but uh, we're going to concentrate on the uh, the plays that I already uh, broke down. So let's start on the frozen pond in the NHL. Since we've been hot in the NHL, let's keep riding the wave. Well, let's just bring everything up here. Now, as you see, I'm a big Habs fan. With the Habs jersey hanging in the background. It's a pretty fucking kick-ass Coco Chris jersey beside it too. I'm a big Oakland Athletics fan. Hey, Oakland, man. We're not so shit, are we? We're not so shit. Now, we got a long way to go. And we, there's no way in hell we're going to make the fucking playoffs. But it's nice to fucking see us be competitive. But anyways. The Rangers-Habs, they continue their series tonight in Montreal. The Bell Center. 
Thursday night should be fucking rocking. The Habs right now are minus 150 home favorites. Total in this game is five pucks. It was four and a half. Now, I like the Rangers. Something about the Rangers that I just, you know, it's actually, it's more about I don't like what I see from the Habs. And I see a lot more fucking determination and effort from the New York Rangers, especially Henrik Lundqvist right now. They fucking want this. They fucking want it. And it may not look pretty. And they may not have the skill and the talent like other fucking teams. But the Rangers fucking want this. They want it more than Montreal right now. You can see it. Now, Montreal have been played well. But uh, Carey Price hasn't stolen the game yet. Carey Price hasn't played really like how Carey Price has. We really need him to do that once or twice in this series. If we're going to get through. Max Pacioretty has kind of disappeared. To be expected, teams take away your best players. Gallagher needs to get on the fucking goal scoring sheet. We can't sit here and rely on Radulov and, and uh, Weber. Ironically, two fucking pickups that are fucking leading the way this year. Be nice to some of the other guys, you know, with the experience would fucking uh, hop on board and uh, contribute. So I don't like what I'm seeing out of the Montreal. I just don't like their game right now, man. We're trying to get to the dirty areas, but we're settling for the outside. And uh, the determination from the Rangers right now. I just think the Rangers get a jump on us tonight. I like the Rangers at plus 130. Now, I like the over in this game as well. I, I jumped on the over four and a half. It's up to five now, so that might change your minds. But it was four and a half. I couldn't say no to it, so I hopped on the four and a half. I do think we're going to see some goals. As I mentioned, Carey Price hasn't really been Carey Price. Lundqvist is fucking battling. He hasn't really played like the King has played in the past, but he's battling. And I think we're going to see some power play goals tonight. Now, I think this is 5-5, going into sudden death. I fucking hate when players don't take the run up to the fucking penalty kick, man. They just take like fucking one and a half steps. Fuck. So it's five aside. Going into the sixth round of penalties. No one's missed yet. I'm sure both managers probably could use a cigarette and a glass of wine right now. And uh, the goalkeepers are just hoping for a little bit of lady luck. Not this time. Besiktas up 6-5. Cool, calm, collected too. Now, the Chicago Blackhawks there in Nashville, looking to survive, looking to survive the playoff island. They don't want to hear the survivor music quite yet. They're in Nashville. They're down three games to zero. Nashville's played fucking pretty damn well, and I didn't think Nashville would be able to do this to the Chicago Blackhawks. Are we seeing the end of the Chicago Blackhawks? Is this the beginning of the end? Is the writing on the wall? I don't think so. I say not so fast. Now, I'm not willing to put my money on the Chicago Blackhawks just yet. Right now, the Nashville Predators are minus 115 home favorites. Total right now is five pucks. I like the over in this game. Chicago's going to go down. If, if Chicago's going to go down, Chicago's going to go down with a fucking fight. They're going to score some goals. Taves is going to show the fuck up. Where the hell have Taves, where, where's Taves been? Kane, Panarin, and Nisimov, they're going to get on the goal scoring sheet tonight. And Nashville, they're going to fucking fight, man. They want to close this out at home in front of their own fucking fans. They're just not going to roll over and die. So I like the over in this game. And finally, the San Jose Sharks. They're in Edmonton. Sharks are starting to fucking wake up. Look out in Edmonton. The Sharks are starting to fucking wake up. Smelling some fucking blood. If I had the Jaws fucking music fucking uh, rigged up right now, that's what I'd be playing. Big save by Leon Keeper. Tossage. Besiktas. Misses their penalty. So it all comes down to this. Leon could be... Uh, Leon's got one foot in the door. Now they just need to fucking push it open. 
and the fans can't watch. They're praying. They're fucking literally praying in the fucking stands, man. The Turkish fans. But, uh, with one swift kick of the boot here, the Leon supporters could be, uh, celebrating. Now, it's pretty kick-ass Europa Leagues in Sweden. Pretty kick-ass that Ibra happens to be on United. And the Leon player just fucked it right up. But that's fucking unbelievable, man. He's just fucking David Beckham did. David Beckham, field goal, three points, fucking good. The Bills could have used them in their fucking playoff drive in the early 90s. Was that Jalet? Fullback? Yeah. There's life. There's life. There's life. Wow. Now, I'd be going a lot fucking crazier if I had fucking money on this game. But I don't. That just fucking sucks for Leon, man. And then now uh, Leon... Well, holy fuck, man. Like, if you guys can't score now, Leon... The fucking keeper just made another fucking huge fucking save. And this is where you're as a keeper, you're just fucking desperate. You're like, fuck dudes, you gotta fucking score now, man. I've just made two in a row. What are the odds of me making three in a row? The odds of you missing three in a row are greater than me fucking stopping three in a fucking row. I'm not quite sure who the Leon keeper is right now, I should know. They generally have a good fucking, uh... Line of keepers going through Leon. And Leon fucking drills it in the back of the net. Fucking redemption. 13. 13 is just fucking like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can fucking eat around Leon for fucking free again. Because that wasn't going to fucking happen, man. Because that was an awful fucking free kick. I mean, a penalty kick. I, I, don't, I don't understand it. Like... I understand missing left and right, but man, missing over the fucking bar. Pain, suffering in the fucking Brashita supporters. Hey, they threw you a lifeline, man, and you guys stepped up and fucking blew it. It was an awful fucking penalty kick on the second fucking save. Awful fucking penalty kick. But anyways, before I lose my fucking voice. Edmonton Oilers are minus 130 home favorites. The San Jose Sharks are plus 110. Total in this game is five pucks. I like the San Jose Sharks right now. The veterans are starting to roll. They're starting to smell some blood. The rookies and the young guns on Edmonton are starting to feel some heat. Like they've never felt heat before. Probably at any time in their career. Especially guys like Connor McDavid. So I like Joe Thornton. I like Pavalski. I like Brent Burns and the boys to come out with a victory in Edmonton tonight. Take the Sharks plus 110. Now let's move over to the NBA before I, I could go like stick my head out the window and get some of this rain here in the GTA. It's been a rainy, windy, crappy, shitty day. Cleveland Cavaliers, Indiana Pacers go at it tonight in Indiana. Cleveland's up two games to all. And Cleveland right now is minus two point road favorites. Total in this game is 210. I like the over. I grabbed the over at 211. It's down to 210. Kind of wish I had some patience there, but I had to grab it when I had some free time to uh, go through this a little bit earlier. I still like the over. If Indiana's going to win a game, it's got to be this fucking game. They're going to throw everything they have at this fucking game. And Cleveland's not going to go down without a fucking fight. So I like the over 210. I have the over 211. I think we'll be okay. Toronto Raptors are in Milwaukee to take on the Bucks. Hasn't been easy for the Raptors. Hasn't been easy with the Greek Freak. Hasn't been easy with Thon, uh, that, uh, what, Thon Maker. Delhi. I hate fucking Delhi. But anyways, right now, the Milwaukee Bucks right now are minus one point favorites. Total in this game is 197. I like the Toronto Raptors. I grabbed the Toronto Raptors on the money line at plus 100. A little bit of value, even money. We're starting to see some movement on the Raptors. They're minus 105 on the money line right now. So grab the Raptors if you like them on the money line. 
Or grab the Raptors right now if you like the plus points. It's only plus one, maybe buy a half a point. But I like the Raptors to roll in Milwaukee tonight. And finally, as you can see, I haven't done this in a few days because my voice is hurting. Hurting. Doesn't help after fucking like yell at work and stuff like that now and shit like that. But anyways, it is what it is. On the ball diamond tonight, Kansas City Royals. They're in Texas to take on the Rangers. Kashner's on the mound for the Rangers. Duffy's on the mound for the Royals. Royals are minus 125. Road favorites right now. Totals nine runs. I like the Kansas City Royals. It's the first game at home for the Rangers after a long-ass road trip. A shitty road trip for them. And you know what I think about baseball teams when they get home from a long road trip. They really haven't had a day off. It wasn't a successful road trip. They are human beings. They got to get caught up in life. I look for the Kansas City Royals to get a jump on this series and take the first game and cash at minus 125 road favorites. Now, I'm pretty pumped up for United. The draw is tomorrow. So basically, anybody but Leon's okay with me. Even Leon's all right, whatever. It's in France. We don't have to travel far. Spain sucks. We suck in Spain. So I'd probably rather avoid Spain. I'd rather take Leon than Celta, to be quite honest with you. But um, remember, you can find my work on Twitter, at KJohnstonMikeDup. You can find my work on my website, KyleJohnstonMikeDup.wordpress.com. And uh, keep an eye out for my other works that I'm going to try to get out and publish. But remember, if you're not laying money down the table, you're not winning. <laughs>